Hey there, this is Lula LV. In today's video, we're taking a look at what's new at Louis Vuitton this month, specifically the women's handbags. If you're looking for anything in particular, it will all be timestamped in the description box below. And make sure you watch until the end because I'll also preview the new Monogram Bum Bag and Never Full BB launching in August. Before we start, I just want to mention that this video won't include the Women's Fall Winter 23 collection. I will be covering that in a separate video next week. I will also not be covering the Men's Fall Winter 23 collection. This just launched last week, so you can find all of this collection on the Louis Vuitton website. All right, so let's get started. I will be going through the new releases roughly in chronological order. The new Sack Sport was released on June 16th in the US and July 12th globally. This comes in two different colors in emprunt leather. All the info is here on the screen. This bag is pretty similar to the carryall which was launched last year, I believe. However, this is slightly smaller than the carryall. The dimensions are here on the screen. And this is in the regular size monogram print, not the giant monogram, which is what's on the carryall. If you'd like to learn more about this bag, I covered it in a video last week on the five best new bags at Louis Vuitton this year. So I will link to that video in the description box below if you would like to learn more about the Sac Sport. Moving on to the Kusan range, there were a few pieces released in a new color called Acid Green. This is a really bright neon color, so it won't be for everyone, but if you do like this color, it's available in the Kusan PM, the Kusan belt bag, as well as the Lou wallet. This colorway has a burgundy interior lining, as well as a combination of silver and gold hardware. Moving on to another new bag this month, there's the Mini Moon, and this is a super cute mini shoulder bag. It comes in three colors that we are seeing a lot of this month, purple, pink, and green. The Mini Moon is also available in plain black or white as well. Here are the dimensions on screen. This is a pretty small bag, approximately eight by four inches, so it'll hold your phone, a compact wallet, and keys, not too much else. I think this would be a great bag for a casual night out. If you would like to get a matching SLG to go with your Mini Moon, the Rosalie coin purse was released in those three same colors this month, as well as tonic orange. This is priced at 490 US dollars or 390 euro. Again, these have a combination of gold or silver hardware. Here's the Rosalie in iris in real life with the new Lisa wallet behind it. The Lisa Wallet is a combination of monogram canvas and leather, again, with those same colors we've been seeing. This is a compact bifold wallet. It's a little more expensive, 520 US dollars or 420 euro. This is a really compact wallet, so it is great for mini bags. In terms of capacity, there's a bill pocket in the back for cash. There's four card slots with two flat pockets behind the card slots, and there is a zipped coin pocket as well. Moving back to bags now, the Twist was released in denim this month in two different colors. The blue denim is available in the Twist MM size. This is priced at $5,100. The pink colorway is available in the Twist PM size. This is priced at $4,800. I really like this bag. I think the denim is a really fresh, casual twist on this bag. No pun intended. <laughs> Moving on to the Alma, we have a classic style being released in a new size. The Alma will be launching on July 14th in the new Nano size in five different colors. The Nano size was available in the mid 2010s for a few years. It's being relaunched in the same size, but now with an adjustable and removable strap. 
Here's a look at the colors. Again, the same ones we've been seeing throughout this video, purple, orange, and green, as well as the two permanent colors, black and white. This bag will be priced at 1400 euro. I'm not sure of the USD pricing right now. And if you're not a fan of Epi Lather, this is scheduled to be released in Monogram Canvas in November. If you're not a fan of the Alma, you can also find these colors on the Marilini. If you're not familiar with the Marilini, it's a smaller version of the Morel, and this is already available in black and white. So if you go onto the Louis Vuitton website, you can find all additional information on this bag online. The Marilini is launching this month in the same orange, pink, and purple we've been seeing. This will be priced at 1,900 euro. A completely new style that's launching this month is a new mini one-handle trunk called the Hide and Seek. I think this style will be quite divisive, so please comment below and share what you think of this bag. Again, it's releasing in the same colors we've been seeing. Here it is in the green epi leather called Vert Noto. It will also be in the classic noir and quartz. These will be priced at $2,670. I don't know the euro pricing. It will also be available in Lilas Provence and Orange, Minnesota. And it does come with a removable and adjustable leather strap. Here you can see the bag modeled on a Louis Vuitton client advisor. So you can see it is a small bag, but it's not tiny. Here she's showing the bag with a cell phone and a compact wallet inside, and there's still room to spare. What do I think of this bag personally? It's not my all-time favorite. I don't like how they took out the hardware for the S-Lock and just have it embossed on a piece of leather. That paired with the oversized piping, it just seems like a really young bag to me, but let me know what you think. Moving on to another love it or hate it style, the on the go East West will be released on July 28th. And this looks just like the on the go PM, but in an elongated East West style. This is priced at 2,860 US dollars, which is a lot for a canvas bag, but pretty decent for an on the go. The big difference between this one and the other on-the-go bags is that there's a zipper closure. And going back to this photo, you can see how far the zip extends on the side of the bag. So I do really like that feature, how they've integrated the zipper. Here are the dimensions on screen. Again, it's slightly smaller than the on-the-go PM. It's, I think, approximately the same width but shorter. Again, I would love to know what you think of this bag, so let us know if you're planning on getting it or at least checking it out in store. Moving on now to the Chinese Valentine's Day, aka Milky Way, aka Heavenly Capsule. These are three capsule collections that are kind of related, kind of not related. Some are available globally. Some are exclusive to China only, so I've done my best to sort through all the information for these pieces and give you the best, most precise information. But if you're interested in any of these pieces, of course, definitely double check with your local store or client services. Let's start off with the Chinese Valentine's Day collection that is exclusive to China only. This includes all of the pink monoglam pieces. Monoglam is a new laminated jacquard material. This was released in May globally in gold and blue. It's now being released in pink, again for China only. So the pink monoglam includes the Speedy 20. Here are some close-up photos of it. Again, you can see no extended zipper on the Speedy 20. Also included in pink monoglam is the side trunk. This is pretty expensive, 5,000 US dollars. I actually have USD pricing for all these pieces, but again, 
The pink monogram is supposed to be exclusive to China only. I love the photos of this side trunk because you can really see that rainbow shimmer captured really well. This collection also includes the Nano Noe. Here it is priced at $2,600. This is your standard Nano Noe. Here's some more product photos courtesy of Foxy LV. Here's another photo of the interior of the bag and this was from an actual product in the boutique. All of the pink monoglam bags come with a pink microfiber lining. The fourth and final bag in this capsule is the Micro Vanity. This is priced at $2,500. I love these close-up photos because you can really see the beauty of the gold hardware with the rainbow shimmer in the pink fabric. I think they're beautiful. The Pop My Heart pouch is also being re-released in this collection. This was previously available for Valentine's Day, but it's being re-released now in a new color. This is priced at $2,680, and this may or may not be available outside of China, so if you're interested in this bag, please inquire at your local store. Moving on to the Milky Way capsule, these are all pieces in white leather, either epi leather or lambskin leather, depending on the style of bag, and they all feature a multicolor pastel monogram. I like the bags in this collection. The first one is the Twist PM at $4,800. This is, of course, in epi leather with a multicolor pastel twist lock. It also has a chain and leather braided top handle. Another style in this colorway is the Marilini, and this is really cute because instead of a round coin purse, they've included a heart-shaped coin purse. It's a very cute touch. And for the pastel monogram, that's included on the mirror in the front pocket. Here's a close-up of that monogram print on the mirror. Another style in this capsule is the Clooney Mini. This is priced at $2,480 US dollars. The pastel here is very subtle. It's just on the LV logo in the corner of the bag. And for a crossbody or shoulder carry, this bag comes with a guitar style strap in a pink beige combination. And of course, because this is Louis Vuitton, what is a collection without a capucine? Here is the Capucine Mini priced at 6,350 euro. This has the beautiful LV monogram in enameled pastel and outlined in gold hardware. I think that's really beautiful. Of course, the Capucine does feature a leather interior. Moving on to the lambskin bags in this collection, there's a few from the Kusan range, including the Kusan BB. These bags feature the puffy lambskin with the LV logo embossed in it. I also really like how they carried over the pastel colorway into the hardware. There is a pastel enameled inlay on the chain. I think that's a really nice added touch on that bag. There's also a Kusan belt bag included. I do not think that includes the enamel on the hardware. This is priced at approximately $2,400. Here's a few close-ups of the Kusan belt bag. Let me know what you think of this collection. I would love to hear your opinions if anything is catching your eye so far. The final bag is a new one and it's the square bag. This is priced at $3,550. I have not seen this bag in person yet, so I can't comment too much on it. It's a very unique shape, so I like that it's different. However, I feel like it might be a little awkward or difficult to carry or use. That was everything for the Milky Way capsule. Now moving on to the Heavenly capsule. And again, these two capsules, the Milky Way and Heavenly, I believe are available outside of China. The Heavenly capsule includes three bags with woven leather. The weaving includes Vachetta leather that's been embossed. And it's woven with another material. I'm not quite sure what it is from these photos. If you know, comment below and please share that information. Another piece included in this capsule is the mini Dauphine. And this is woven with a pink accent color. And again, 
Vachetta leather. This is priced at $4,300. Here's a close-up photo. I do really like the craftsmanship on these bags. I really like the embossing on the woven Vachetta leather as well. The third bag included is the Petite Mall, and this has a blue accent color paired with the Vachetta leather. This is priced at $6,200. These all have gold hardware, and again, I'm not sure what that other material is that's woven with the Vachetta leather. It's either um, like a patent leather or some sort of treated leather. From this photo, it looks like it could also even be plastic, but I would hope that's not what it is. I'm looking forward to seeing when these bags are released so I can figure out what that material is. Once again, this is Alula LV. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to catch future videos on Louis Vuitton new releases. Now let's move on to the August preview. There's a few collections releasing in the beginning of August that are already open for pre-order. One is the Wine Empreinte Leather. This is a new seasonal color and this will be available in the Pochette Matisse Neverfull MM and Speedy 25 styles as pictured here. Additional styles available in this color but not pictured are the on-the-go MM Easy Pouch, Emily Wallet, Victorine Wallet, and the Romy Card Holder. This collection will be launching in the United States on August 4th and globally on September 1st, but it is currently open for pre-orders. Another colorway releasing is Khaki in the Bicolor Ompront. This is available in the Neverfull MM and the on-the-go PM as pictured here. Other pieces that will be available in this collection include the Carry All PM, Multi Pochette Accessoire, Felici Pochette, Clemence Wallet, and Zippy Coin Purse. This will also release on August 4th or September 1st globally and is open for pre order. Moving on now to the Neverfull BB and the Bum Bag. These are two new styles releasing very soon. The High Rise Bum Bag is the redesigned women's bum bag. It's going to be released so far just in monogram canvas with Vachetta leather and a detachable adjustable um, guitar style strap. This will be priced at $1,850 and will be releasing on August 4th and globally on September 1st. This is already open for pre-orders. Another new bag releasing is the Neverfull BB. This photo was shared widely on Instagram this past week by Bay Area Luxury Shopper. Not to take credit away from her, but I did Photoshop out her Instagram name so you can get a better unobstructed view of what the Neverfull BB will look like. Of course, this is still just a blurry prototype photo, but it's being released in monogram canvas with Vachetta trim. I do not believe this is being released in any other canvases as of now. It will have a detachable guitar strap and an exterior coin pouch. I have not seen any photos of the inside of this bag, but I have seen the price, and this is coming in at $1,900 US dollars. Let me know what you think of that price. Do you think it's a good price, or is it too high? This will be smaller than the Neverfull PM. This is about nine and a half by five and a half inches. The depth is about three and a half inches. This will be launching on either August 4th or 18th. I'm not sure. I've seen both dates, but this is open for pre-orders if you're interested. Comment below and please share your thoughts on these two new bags. I'm really interested to hear what you think of them. Do you think you'll be purchasing either of these or are you planning to at least go to the store and check them out? Again, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed to catch future videos on Louis Vuitton new releases. Next week, I will be covering the Women's Fall Winter 2023 collection. I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.